Parks and Community Services Department is really excited to relaunch the mobile recreation program. So is the city. I think we've been working on the program itself with budget, finances, um, for some time now, for a couple of months. So we're very excited that it's actually rolling into the neighborhoods. The Mobile Rec's purpose is to reach neighborhoods that one, don't have direct access to parks, or two, direct access to recreational activities. Hold them with your two fingers, okay? With your thumb and your index finger. And then you pull back, and then you let go. It's free, it provides great homework assistance, it provides games, arts and crafts, sporting activities, and we even have a mobile library within the vehicle. The planning stages of this program was, you know, six to eight months. I think it all started with the vehicle. With the charger donation, um, we were able to purchase the vehicle as well as pay for the wrapping of the vehicle. Our outfitting of the vehicle, the interior part, I worked with our fleet department in order to research some of their vendors, who they work with. We were able to go to American Van Works that was able to help us with different types of outfitting. Our goal was to not make our vehicle look industrial. It was to be inviting, to look nice aesthetically. So we were able to add multiple cabinets along one side that store all of our items, the board games, um, our hockey sticks, so that's all on one side of the vehicle. We were also able to add in a really cool box which is storage for tables and chairs. And they also added the bookshelves, so we have bookshelves throughout the vehicle that are very important because kids are able to reach it, which is important, and they're able to just return the book once they're done. Let me see which where do they go? That way we we're aware. So it has a wide design of silhouettes of kids doing different activities. So you have kids shooting a basketball, throwing a football, reading, um, playing music. So all that is actually what our mobile rec encompasses. After researching the graphic and who's going to install the graphics that we've created in-house. We chose Surf City Graphics because they dedicate a lot of professionalism, resources to this project. So we were very happy with their work. Here at Surf City Graphics, we specialize in the vehicle wraps. Obviously, it's the, the best form of advertisement hands down. It be beats billboards, it beats video, commercials, audio. As far as impressions per person and per dollar, it's the best form of advertising because it's a rolling billboard. On the Costa Mesa Recreation Vehicle, we're doing a full wrap, uh, bumper to bumper we call it. We are 90% printed. At this point and laminated we just need to print that final top piece in the chargers logo that's going to go on the front and we should be good to go once we get the design then we have to tile the design we take the actual artwork it's either in photoshop or illustrator and we'll flatten it so we'll combine the whole artwork into one flat image or one layer and then we'll actually crop the design into layers because we can print up to 54 inches so uh, it would be nice if we can print everything all at once, but it's not possible. The printer is a 54 inch printer, so we do it in tiles of 52 inches. It's basically cropping the image down into sections, almost like wallpaper. Yep. So after we tile it, we go to print. The beautiful thing about our brand new printer, the HP Latex, it's water-based eco-friendly and uh, you, there's no outgassing, there's no solvent gases. So you can literally print and then laminate. It's UV-based cast high-performance lamination that we use. It's already got the UV inhibitors on it. It actually protects the actual print from fading, cracking. It actually helps with the installation process. It makes the vinyl a little bit thicker, a little bit easier to handle. Uh, it's basically a protectant sheet on it, so you don't have to put anything over the top of that after you wrap it. After you laminate, then you trim, 
you kiss cut all the edges to the graphics and after that you prep the actual van and then get it nice and clean. Yeah, we're gonna seam it to that. So April, my partner, uh, she's also the co-owner of Surstudio Graphics. Uh, she, after cleaning it, she ended up uh, primering the edges. It's basically the, the low adhesive points of the car. So all the little edges, uh, any, any bit of, of the wrap you think that's not gonna stick to, you wanna add a little bit of primer. You don't wanna add too much because primer in the long run is not a good idea, but just a little bit on some fine points here and there. And then after that, you can start wrapping. Is that right? Awesome. Right there. Perfect. Good. <laughs> Lay down. The beautiful thing behind the wrap film is uh, it already has adhesive on it. It's not like wallpaper where you have to apply the adhesive. It already has adhesive. Basically, it's a, it's a really big, huge, expensive sticker. That's basically what it is. But it's a cast sticker, so it can conform into the, all the edges. And then uh, you can post heat it, so it takes all the memory out. We feel very fortunate to be part of this project. We're really excited. We love working with City Cusp Mesa. This is our second year doing this. When I first moved out to uh, Orange County, I moved to Costa Mesa, I went to OCC. So to be able to give back to the community and do fun projects like this, to us, it's, it's the best. We arrived about half an hour before the kits arrive to the program. We arrived to our location. And once we start setting up, we open up the doors, we start putting out tables, chairs are easy up. <laughs> and then we set up our large group game, which is, might be hockey, might be soccer, might be tetherball, might be wiffle ball, depending on the day and location. Oh, play soccer! Yeah, we'll play soccer right here. Then we do our homework enrichment. We make sure that our pencils, papers are out. We have a table just dedicated to free art. Then we have a specific activity focused towards like the beads. So if we're gonna make bracelets or wristbands, then we do that. Um, and that's always changing. We have kind of our calendar of activities um, that we do on a weekly basis at all different facilities. I think parents love it. Being out in certain areas, the parents also get to interact. At the same time, they can also decide to sit on, sit on the side and just observe. There's a social aspect to the program and the interaction with staff, the interaction amongst each other. Sometimes they go to school with each other, but they've never really talked to each other. So being out at the mobile rec is like, oh, hey, you, you're in my class, you know? Want to play hockey or, hey, um, Let's, do you have the same homework as I do? Let's, you know, let's work on it together. So things like that, and I think it's very rewarding. Information on the van will be posted on the city website, as well as social media. Um, they'll have contact information, dates, where we'll be, what time we'll be there. So look out for that. <laughs>